In this video, you will be shown the step-by-step -step completion of the gun turret from a gearing class destroyer in 170 second scale, included in the TACOM kit. First, separate the pieces from the sprue by cutting them free while leaving a little margin to avoid damaging the parts. Remove the imperfections and sand all of the parts. To glue them together, night blue cement was used. Thanks to its intense blue color, you can see where it has been applied and if any corrections are needed. The whole piece was then primed with one shot primer black. As a base color, medium sea gray was used. The color was airbrushed irregularly in thin layers without completely covering the black background. The unpainted spaces were left to be painted in another color. Masks were placed and the second color, intermediate blue, was airbrushed. For the upper part of the turret, the color sea blue was applied. Volume was added by lightening the base color with medium sea gray in a ratio of 2 to 1. To highlight the details of the upper area, use the diode dry brush color blue. On the sides, use the same process with diode dry brush color medium gray. Then airbrush a thin layer of satin lucky varnish. To outline the details on the darker color, use Panel Line Wash Blue-Gray. Apply it around the rivets without using too much wash. Let it dry and remove the excess with a sponge. On the gray tones, use Panel Line Wash Deep Gray. By using the panel line washes, you will be able to highlight all the details. Using the color medium sea gray, begin to draw the first layer of chipping. Create small dots and scratches in the corners. To imitate a completely straight scratch, simply use a piece of tape as a guide. Then simulate the deepest part of each chip by first applying the color chipping. Work on the gray chips without covering them completely. Using this process, you will add volume and depth to the scratches and chipping. Finally, add some fine chipping in the deepest area with the color dark rust. To apply the effects of runoff and dirt, use the streaking brusher color, Warm Dirty Gray. For this step, wet the surface using enamel odorless thinner. First, deposit the product by drawing stripes from top to bottom. To blend it, use the synthetic saw brush number 8, moistened with enamel odorless thinner. With the same streaking brush or color, you can also shade some areas. For the rust drainage and streaking, use the streaking brush or color Rust. With a fine brush, apply a small amount to the scratches and chips. Then drag the streaking vertically with a brush. Proceed with a completely dry brush to blend and blur the streaking effects. The same effect was added to the rest of the rusty areas. The surface was then protected with a thin coat of matte Lucky Varnish. 
All of the details were painted with acrylics and a fine brush. Acrylic wash color Deep Gray was used to integrate them with the rest of the work. Finally, the cannons were glued in place. All the products used in this video are available at www.ammo.es. Discover many more videos on our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and activate notifications. Thank you for watching.